In the 1990 legislative session, the Kentucky General Assembly passed the Kentucky Education Reform Act, or CARA. Essentially, this landmark legislation changed the face of education in Kentucky. One drastic change that came along with CARA was school-based decision-making, or SBDM councils. School councils promote shared leadership among those who are closest to the student. Membership of each council includes parents, teachers, and an administrator of the school. The school council has responsibility to set school policy and make decisions as outlined in the law, which should provide an environment to enhance student achievement and assist with meeting Kentucky's education goals. To serve on an SBDM council, Teachers and staff must satisfy eligibility requirements. Teachers eligible to serve are those individuals for whom certification is required as a basis of employment in the public schools of the state except for principals and assistant principals. Itinerant teachers, part-time teachers, school counselors, and library media specialists are eligible to serve as a teacher member of the council. A parent is eligible to serve on the council if they are the biological or adoptive parent, a step parent or a foster parent of a student, or a person who has the legal custody of a student pursuant to a court order and with whom the student resides. Ineligible parents include the following, an employee or relative of an employee of the school, an employee or relative of an employee at the district administrative offices and the local board of education member or member spouse. For this purpose, relative is defined as father, brother, sister, husband, wife, son, and daughter. Council members are elected individuals. Both parents and teachers determine their own nomination and balloting procedures. However, most often, a PTA or PTSA is the group that holds parent elections. Councils encourage meaningful engagement. The SBDM Council puts decision-making with the people closest to the student. Also encourages parents, teachers, and the principal to know the faces of the children and encourage and understand the needs of the school community. The council process includes council member training. Once elected, experienced members are required to complete three hours of training and new members are required to complete six hours of training. Councils have a variety of responsibilities. Here are the few of the responsibilities that can enhance student achievement and directly impact the learning environment. The first way is through school improvement, test analysis, and planning. Councils set targets for closing achievement gaps. They develop a school improvement plan, which includes professional development. They analyze test scores and diagnostic data. They ensure quality instruction, and they promote goal setting and positive teamwork. The next way is through council operations. Councils set rules for how the council operates, including meeting dates and agendas. They use the tools and resources available to focus priorities on improvement. They develop school policies and areas such as curriculum responsibility, discipline and classroom management, safety, extracurricular programs, instructional practices, scheduling, technology, etc. They also enhance student achievement through the use of money and budget and spending. Councils decide how, the, how to budget the school's money. They also decide on the number of staff members in each subject, grade, etc. And finally, councils promote student achievement through the selection of personnel. They are consulted with the principal of those who are hired, and they are consulted with the superintendent on the selection of the new principal. If you have any questions about your school's council or how to get involved, please reach out to your school. Thank you.